Hello guys. Yeah. Uh, I have been teaching mathematics since long to engineers, diploma holders, science people. So, but actually, I find one of the questions that many of the engineers and, uh, and uh, science graduates are very much confused about. They don't have a clear idea. What is tangent? Okay, so when I ask this question to uh, science uh, or engineer graduate, so first answer actually what I get is a, a tangent, What let, let us say what is a tangent of a curve. How do you find the tangent to a curve? So they define tangent as a line. That such as a curve at one point. Okay, before uh, going to detail, let us say this is a curve, this is a typical curve. And suppose if I want to have a tangent at this point A, so everyone will agree that this is a tangent. Okay, this line is a tangent. Now, how do I define a tangent? So, first, first thought that comes generally comes in people's mind is a line that touches a curve on get one point. Now, then I argue that suppose this is a tangent real. Okay, then I say, okay, this is a line which touches a curve on in one point. Is this a tangent? No. Then this definition doesn't feel good. Then when I say this, people say a curve which okay, it is this point plus it is one plus a line that doesn't cross a curve. Okay, now okay. So this is a line that doesn't cross a curve. Now suppose this curve was like this. If I extend this line, then it crosses a curve at this point. Let us say this point B C. So that, does it mean that this line is not tangent? No, this is a real tangent. So this this uh, argument also doesn't hold good. So then what is a tangent? Now the real mathematical definition of a tangent is okay before going to the mathematical definition let us say uh, again if I want to have a uh, tangent at this point suppose A then what is a tangent what, for getting a tangent what I do is I'll take some other point B on a curve and draw a line this is the point B and this is the point B and draw a line. This is line L1. Now, is this a tangent? No. What I will do is, I will bring this point B closer and closer to A. Suppose if I take this point B as B as uh, this point as B point B1, so B1 this is B point as B2. Now I draw a line B1 to B2. Now this is L. Is this a tangent? No. Again, I move this point B to B to closer to A. Uh, to A. So if I take this, I will get this. So this is also not a tangent L3. Now, what is a tangent is if I bring the second point B close enough to A. Let us say A is uh, first point is this, second point is also this, and I draw a line, and this is this will become a tangent. Okay, close and close to A. Okay, got my point? I'll take the second example. Let us say this is point C. I want a tangent at point C. So what I'll do is, I can do it, uh, take the other point either on this side or on this side. Open it for letting us understand. I'll take this point B. 
are an arbitrary point and draw a line between C and D and try to move this uh, point D closer and closer to C. Okay, so this is second line. This is so bring this much closer to C and this will be third line. This is tangent. Okay. So this is a real tangent. None of this point one and point two holds good. Real tangent is this one. Everybody knows this, but they are not able to define it. Okay. So the mathematical definition of a tangent is a line. Passing. Now, if we do this, let us say I want to define a tangent at A. So tangent at A is a line passing through. Two points on a curve okay. on a curve such that distance between these two points. Almost to zero, or we can say ten to zero. Okay, this is a tangent. This is a real different definition of tangent. Again, I I draw tangent to this curve. Point A, and the second point A one. This is line element. This is not. This is not a tangent. And move this point closer and closer to A. This is A2. This is not tangent. A3. This is A2. A3 is A3. This is not tangent. I'll bring this point closer and closer to A. Move this. Bring this. This comes more and more closer to A. If I if I bring point A one or another point sufficiently closer to this to the point at which I want the tangent, and avoid it at this, move the points lie on another. It has to lie on another. Okay, get it done. Clear. Then that becomes a tangent. The distance between the two points should almost tends to zero, and these two points should lie on a tangent or on a curve. And the, the line connecting these two points. Passing to this point, you can see this at the time there. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have any other queries, keep asking me question. I can I will try to make the point clear and clear. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like my video. Thank you for watching. This video.